So I want to talk to you about this. You t we're looking now at trends, kind of the landscape of all kinds of industries and the economy and all that. And as you might know, community banks, independent community banks here in Nebraska and across the entire country are struggling. They dec they've declined a little bit. The number of them around declined six or seven percent over the last few years. And uh, community banks have a tough time being competitive with big branch banks um, who, uh, who have much better technology. Uh, and as a result, they can process transactions faster and personalize things. And, you know, a lot of cool bells and whistles. But that's not all. They also have to worry about fintech and what they call neobanks. How about Capital, uh, Capital One? That would be a neobank. They're really not part of the federal uh, system, of course, but they do position themselves as kind of a bank with a, a great coffee, you know, a great coffee station and so on. And it's really all about com conversation with them and getting acquainted with their cash flow and blah, blah, blah. But so they have a lot of things coming at them, community banks. They've got to figure out a way to catch up or maybe even do something dramatic, better, cooler, hipper, uh, something that people would say, I love that. I'm willing, we're going to go down there tomorrow. So here's the idea. This is, this is one example, and I have several, which we won't have time for. The idea here is to um, encourage children, little children, uh, get the parents and the kids together and, and get all the pennies, all the pennies in the house that are laying around, get them together in a box or a bag or whatever, right? and come to the, come to the community bank. No, obviously advertising will play a big role here. And they walk in with their pennies and maybe they dump them on something. There may be a lot of uh, sound and so on and so forth, right? And then the, <clears throat> the community bank says, this is wonderful. Thank you so much. We'll start an account for you, Susie, or whatever it is. Parents beaming, because the parents are dreaming 20 years down the road, maybe we'll be able to get her to college, you know? It's tough these days to afford college, but maybe this was the beginning, symbolically, of course, to, to get her to college. Now here's, here's, the, here's the kicker. As we all know, on an international level, you can't avoid this, Ukraine is uh, in deep trouble. They've been uh, struggling with Russia for a year, and it's probably gonna go on. You might know, of course, that children, young children and, and, and mothers, typically, are fleeing Ukraine and going to Poland, and some very hospitable families there, many, many, many of them in Poland are taking in these poor folks, the children and the, and the mothers and the sisters and bringing them in and taking care of them indefinitely, by the way, to make sure they're safe and so on, even though their father and their brothers are fighting way back in Kiev or where else they are in, in Ukraine. So the idea would be that community banks, could be in Nebraska, could be all over the country, say, you know what, for every penny that you brought to our bank and we, we set up, we're going to donate two pennies, two pennies for every penny we receive from every little family around there. Now the little child that donates this or, or, or makes the deposit receives the story. It's a very important story um, that not only are they doing something for themselves, right, but they're doing twice as much for some little girl in Poland, right, whose parents are, are still uh, back in Ukraine. And they can imagine what it would be like to, be, to go through that trauma, even if they're young, you know. So this is a very emotional thing and a, and a wonderful thing, you know, a thing that uh, you want to grab the banker and give him or her a hug, right? Because it could come in from all over the community. Everybody's bringing their pennies in, setting them up. Everybody's excited. And the bankers feel like they're, they have a higher purpose because they're going to donate all this money. And really, I mean, it's not probably going to be a huge amount, but co collectively, it could be a great deal of money. And there'll be a third party that will, of course, safely and, and securely get the monies all the way across the ocean and over there to the right people in Poland. It can become so inspirational. I'm talking right now to community bankers, association leaders, all this. It could become so powerful <clears throat> that it attracts the attention of celebrities and stars and singers and actors and high-profile people. Now I'm thinking about what happened in 1985. When, when millions of people donated money to a, a nonprofit group in Africa, because there were people in Africa were going through a tremendous, tremendous suffering, terrible problem. <clears throat> and, and, and again, the creative community in Hollywood and New York in particular came together, 
And, and each of them donated a lot of money. Each of them, half a million each, a million, whoever, who knows what it was. But it was a big number. Michael Jackson was involved, of course, and, uh, and many others. Um, so they, they put together this massive concert. Again, I think most of you know about this. It was called We Are the World. We are the world. We're coming together, all kinds of people. Bruce Springsteen sang, beautiful. And uh, they sang this incredible song called We Are the World. And everybody in the United States was walking around humming, We Are the World. It really was a purification exercise as well as something to help these four folks. Now, as a result of this, so we have to have a song, don't we? We have to have a song to make it happen, right? There has to be somebody watching some streaming video, YouTube, whatever it is, and something comes on, and it's a pop star, right? It's some young person out of Hollywood, some singer, somebody that a six or eight year old would know, but maybe a 15 year old would also know and watch. And that person will say it's a young girl, but it could be a guy. And they sing a song with the following lyrics. Because now we're gonna talk about the future of America. Every penny is a possibility. If you save them up, you will surely see. All your hopes and dreams of what you want to be, every penny is a possibility. That's the song that could motivate the entire country to go to community banks, send money to the Ukrainian children, and give them support. All right, thanks so much for uh, Wild Biz Nebraska. We are your innovation catalyst. I'm Lynn Hinderocker. Thanks so much for watching the show. We'll see you next time. We'll check you out. Remember, innovation is great. Thank <laughs> you.